Good evening, SCCW fans, and welcome to the first half of week six here in the 2023 edition of the Gold Rush. My name is Alistair Mayfield, your host and commentator as always, and tonight got next round of block A matches for you folks to enjoy. But before we jump into that, as always, let's just take a quick look at the rankings here to see where everybody stands. He's currently at the top by himself, sitting on eight points. We have Hyperion right behind him, all on six are the likes of Steve Awesome, Richard Energy, and El Rey. Behind them, sitting on an odd five together, are Dylan Black and Wellington Dunn, following their draw last week. Behind them, on four, are Ricky Tressler, Sister Valerie, and Jay Carter. And then sitting at the bottom, currently on two, is Zeze Taborda. So, these last few weeks, as we're starting to get closer and closer towards the end of this year's gold rush, as we're in the second half of it, um, kind of in a way started it last week as well. These rankings here really could get shaken up a number of ways, depending on how results uh, play out heading into it. So... With all that being said, though, however, let's go ahead and jump right on into the first match of the evening. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Interesting first, from Glasgow, Scotland, weighing at 284 pounds, Wellington. Done! And done, as previously stated, coming off a draw last week. The first ever one in Gold Rush history, as him and Dylan Black ended up fighting to a countout draw between them, which was very shocking. I mean, we saw our first countout victory as well in this, and now we got to witness our first draw. And his opponent from Portimao, Portugal, weighing in at 300 pounds, Zeze Taborda! the border who's still looking to get more points for himself on the board especially if he wants to try to still have a potential shot at making the finals though I think right now he's kind of sitting on the cusp of being eliminated given what's still left but a win here will definitely help keep his hopes afloat just a little bit more there's the bell we're underway between these two tie up hard hitting series of elbows there by Zeze drops the elbow Missed the clothesline Oh, avoids the kick there, but Dunn throws him down with the arm drag. Zeze back up. Avoids the kick, swing and a miss. Another arm drag there by Dunn. Got the leg, turns him over. Texas Cloverleaf. Zeze easily slips out of the hold. Drops Dunn with that elbow. There's the knee drop. Two of them now. Tie up. The board, another series of elbows there. Pulls Dunn away. Has him up, miss with the kick. Caught him with that left. Gets sent into the ropes. Oh, Zeze able to hold on. Now Dunn sends Zeze into the ropes once more. Oh, got bulldozed, however. Zeze now pulling him away. Sets him up. Oh, they hit in the ropes here. European uppercut. Tie up. Dunn scoops him up, however. Big body slam. Pulls him away. Sets him up. Soft kick right to the back. To them now. Tie up. Irish whip puts him in the corner. Tie up. Dunn, no, hoist him up. Zezo, however, twist behind. Tie up again here. Quick jab there by Dunn. Oh, but now, series of elbows there. Zezo drops the elbow. Oh, puts the clothesline, ducks it there. Dunn scoops him up, powers him down with the slam. Puts him up, kick right to the back. Oh, just the jab there, Irish whip. Border coming off, oh, clothesline's ducked. Tie up. There's the elbow. Nope. Dunn up to his feet. Irish whip, coming back, ooh, sent him for a ride there. Has him up, tie up here, there's the elbow. And to board and now, pulling Dunn away, drops the elbow. Oh, what's the headbutt there? Dunn caught him with that four and with the knee. Yep, what's that left? Tie up here, to board with the elbow. And off the ropes, but Dunn makes it up to his feet. Ooh, nice STO there from the Glasgow Bowl, in for the cover one. Borde able to get the shoulder up. Dunn knocks him back down with that body blow. Oh, I'm back in that Texas clover leaf here. But Borde able to escape. So we're gonna miss. Tie up. Oh, now here they go. Taborda. Dunn. Taborda. Dunn. Taborda. Dunn winning the exchange there. Back up on his feet. 
Look at that tie up. Irish whip. Oh, done able to hold on. Got out the kick. Irish whip. Tavora coming off. Flying clothesline got him that time. Now, tie up here. Done. Count to the backdrop. Has him up. Tie up here. Ooh, what a DT. Tie up. Done. Hoist him up and over into border. Crashes to the outside. Now, Carney with the count. Borda rolling back in. So we're going to miss. Oh, Borda that time. Series of punches. Boot to the head. Balls it up the fist drop there. Oops, we're going to miss. What's the kick? Headbutt there by Dunn. Pulls him away. There's the knee drop. And now, nope, to Borda catching him with a body blow. There's the elbow. Turns him over. Cover here. Too close to the ropes. Both them back up on their feet now. Swing and a miss. Done. As an up inverted arm explosion. Pulls him away. Turns him over. Cover here. One. Two. And to Borda able to get the shoulder up. Tie up. Shot right to the ribs there by Dunn. As an up. Well, but to Borda. Caught him with that dragon screw. Both them back up here. To Borda. Again, laying in with the punches. Boot to the head. Oh, Dunn battling back still. Borda sends him in the ropes, however, but Dunn able to hold on. Tie up. Borda sends him into the corner, measuring. Oh, Dunn steps away. STO! Sits him up. Soccer kick right to the back. Has him up. Takes him down with the clothesline. Not done. Has Borda back up. It's Borda. Catches him with that right hand. Backing off. Sends him into the corner. Doesn't. Take the measure this time. And Taborna. Oh. Sweeps the leg. And there's the Macho Buster in full effect there. And now Taborna trying to figure out what to do next here. Dunn has him up and over with a vertical suplex instead. Brings Taborna up on his feet. Trying to go behind, but Taborna catches him with the right hand. Tie out. Oh, STO there by Dunn. And Dunn now leaves. Scottish face breaker! Both men down, Dunn up to his feet, as is Taborda. Missed the headbutt. There's the elbow from Zeze. Boot to the head. Got the leg, turns him over. Single leg crab this time. Dunn trying to power himself over. He's able to escape. And now it's Taborda unloaded with the punches here. Roll the arms, shake of the hips. Bionic elbow! Pulls Dunn away, drops the elbow on the jaw that time. Has him up, swing and a miss. Avoids the clothesline. Swing and a miss there. Done. Sends him into the ropes. Caught a black hole slam. Pulls Tabordo away. Has him up. Tabordo, however, sends him into the corner. Measuring takes the run up. Oh, got into the bulldog. I caught him with that forearm. Done now with the backbreaker. Now just looking to get a breather in while he can here. It's Borda back up on his feet, but Dunn has him up! Well and Dunn plants him! In for the cover here, one, two! And Taborda able to get the shoulder up in time. And now Taborda, hammerlock DDT, drives him down. Cover here, one, two! Dunn gets the shoulder up. Taborda. Has him up! Running Liger Bomb! Too close to the ropes, however. Swing and a miss. And now done! Inverted Emerald Explosion! Got the legs into the Bastard Breaker! Taborda able to wiggle over enough to get the rope break. Now Dunn sends him with the ropes. He comes up. Oh my god, what a spear! Has Taborda up. Taborda caught him with the elbow. But Dunn! Pulls him up! Well and done! Turns him over, cover one, two! And Taborda again gets the shoulder up. He has done up, sends him to the ropes. Taborda coming off. Oh, flying shoulder block. Has done up. Oh, done, got him with that body blow. But now Taborda, hammerlock DDT! Done up on his feet, however. There's the knee drop. Taborda back up. Done with the shot to the ribs. Sits him up. Soccer kick to the back. Has him back up. Done now. In off the ropes here. Oh, laid him out with the boot. 
Got the leg, turns him over, Texas Clover, leg, and the board, it taps out! Here is your winner by submission, Wellington. Dawn! One hell of a back and forth encounter between these two, but in the end, it's the Glasgow Bull who's able to come out on top and add two points to his name there. But I'm just behind Hyperion right now. Uh, man, I honestly thought Taborda would have had him there a few times, but Wellington kept fighting till the very end. All right, with that, folks, let's go ahead and jump right on into the next one. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first from Grozny Chechinaracha, weighing in a 109 pounds, sister Valerie! And Valerie, who, despite the very shaky start, has slowly been gaining momentum over the past few weeks here. She'll be looking to boost herself up to six points. See if she's able to here tonight. And her opponent from Canton, Ohio, weighing in at 230 pounds, Jay Carter! And Carter is also on the hunt for six points here. He's definitely looking for it now, considering he's been stalled the past couple occasions on getting himself up there. Let's see if he's able to finally capitalize on it, or if he'll once again be snubbed. Fight! There's the battle we're underway here. Valerie with the right hand to start it off. Was the drop kick? Carter back up on his feet. Just that left. Brings Valerie down with that body blow. Ah, yeah. Valerie, nope, Carter able just behind. Catches her with the headbutt. Turn, Valerie back up. Carter, no, gets tackled down. Two of them tie up. Carter with that left hand. Tie up. And Valerie now punishing the midsection with those knee lifts. Follows up the fist drop. Carter back up. Two of them now. Tie up. It's the left hand there from Carter. Just that right, other than finding purchase. And Carter with the scoop slam. Got the legs, turns her over, reverse Boston Crab. Valerie easily slipping out of the hold. Tie up. There's the left hand. Oh, once again, Adam Canary, but Valerie quickly jumps on top, going for that arm bar, but Carter slips out of it. Swing and a miss. Tie up. Sends Carter into the rope. Oh, pulls him down. Would you wear arm bar here? Carter again able to slip out of the hold. To them. Tie up. Valerie with the arm, wrenching it around. Carter dumps her to the outside. Taunting her from inside the ring. Now two of them kind of sizing each other up. Tie up. Valerie with the right. Oh, caught with the kick there. That is the headbutt. Carter sits her up. And off the ropes here with the drop kick to lay her out. Tie up. Valerie takes him down with that elbow. Going right back to that arm bar. But Carter again able to break out. Tie up. Irish whip. Valerie coming off, but Carter holds on. Oh, just the kick there. Oh, now here they go. Valerie, Carter, Valerie, Carter, Valerie, Carter winning the exchange. Up to his feet here and off the road. Oh, Valerie up to her feet. Takes Carter down with that elbow. Pulls him up onto his feet, tie up here. Valerie punishing him with those knees. Valerie and off the ropes here. Kick right to the ribs. To that tie up. Sends Valerie into the corner. Tie up here. Oh, and now Carter just bouncing Valerie's head off the turnbuckles there. It's a basketball. Valerie picks the leg out over there with the dragon screw. Has Carter up. Oh, Carter sends her to the ropes, waiting. Tilt a world backbreaker in for the cover. One. Valerie is again the shoulder up. Tie up. Carter with the elbow. He hits the ropes. Coming in. There's the stomp. Two of them tie up. Oh, dump Carter to the outside. Now Carter up on his feet, rolls inside. Tie up. But Valerie again, right back to punishing the midsection with those knees. As Carter up for waist lock, kicks the leg out. Pulls him away from the ropes, brings him back up, swinging a miss. Tie up. Valerie hoists him up and over vertical suplex. Now pulls Carter away from the ropes. Has him up. Tie up here, but Carter drops her with a DDT. 
now. Gonna work the ropes. As her a oh, big knife edge chop. Two of them moving more towards the center of the ring now. Valerie hoists him up and over vertical suplex yet again. Pulls Carter away. Won't get caught with that overhead kick there. And now Carter. No, oh, Valerie up to her feet. Sends Carter into the rope. Caught him with a drop toe hold. Into that Fujiwara armbar yet again here. Really been trying to work on the shoulder. Now sends him into the rope. Pulls him down right back to the Fujiwara. Really trying to crank back on it, but Carter again slips free. But those his shoulders have to be hurting by now. Listen out to DDT. Now both of them up. Tie up here. It's the elbow by Carter. The dragon screw. And again. Valerie up to her feet. Misses the kick there. Carter reverses the Irish whip attempt. Waiting. Tilt the world backbreaker. And off the ropes here. There's the stomp. Valerie up on her feet. Now I'm looking at the knees and down goes Carter. Turns him over. Cover here. One. Two. And Carter able to kick out. Carter takes down with that elbow. Has her up. Carter now in off the road. Leaping DDT spikes her. Valerie up on her feet. Tie up. Sends him into the ropes. Drop solo. Has Carter up. Oh, reverses. Carter waiting. Carter with the elbow. Has her up. Carter posing for the crowd a bit. But Valerie hoists him up and over with another vertical suplex. Carter up on his feet as is Valerie. Avoids the kick. But Valerie plants him with that face buster. Got the legs capture bridges back. Got the tenderizer here. But Carter able to escape. Two of them now. Tie up Valerie again with the face buster. Just some follows up the fist drop. And right back into that Fujiwara armbar. Valerie trying to keep him away from the ropes, but Carter now is able to escape. Valerie, another vertical suplex, and Carter tumbles to the outside. Carnegie with the count here. Carter going back inside. Tie up. And Valerie now chomping away on the brow of Carter here. Pretty sure he's... Oh, he's actually not bleeding. Takes it out with the headbutt. Sits Valerie up. And off the ropes. Drop kick lays her out. Carter now has her up. Valerie once again another vertical suplex. This time going up top. Connects with the elbow. Now pulling Carter away from the ropes. Quick stomp. Carter up on his feet. Oh my Carter! Taking a page of the Valerie's looking out. He's the one biting on her. Does all the Valerie turning the favor right back? Oh my god, and this time. Able to break the skin. There they go. Carter. Valerie. Carter. Valerie. Carter with the drop kick. But Valerie lays him out with the forearm. Up to her feet. Has Carter up. But Carter sends her to the ropes. Waiting. Tilt the world backbreaker. Has her up. Makes him drop kick. Stomp on the back. Valerie back up on her feet. Swing and a miss. Swing and a miss. Irish whip. Carter coming off as well. Leaping DDT. And now sits her up. Point blank drop kick there. Oh, swing and a miss. Irish whip. Carter again coming off. Running boot laser out. As Valerie up on her feet. Rose her into the corner now. Tie up. Pushes her back. Carter just stomping away on her. Has her up, big knife at chop. Has Valerie up, tie up here. Discus Larry, and good God, turns her over. Cover one, two, three, got her. Here is your winner by pinfall, Jay Carter. And Carter able to battle back for the victory there. I honestly thought Valerie, Valerie would have had him. But the brutalizer not letting himself be held down. Walking away with two points this time instead of Sin Eater there. Man, that honestly could have gone either way between those two. But Carter, able to go the distance in the end, gets himself another victory. 
All right, that folks, let's go ahead and jump right on into the next one. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from Cleveland, Ohio, weighing in at 245 pounds, Ricky Tressler. Tressler coming off a loss last week as he fell short in his endeavor against Richard Energy. Though it was very, very close on the pinfall there. Tressler just a split second too late. His brain kind of faltered on what to say there. And his opponent from New York, weighing in at 345 pounds, Hyperion! Meanwhile, Hype coming off a of victory last week, having defeated El Rey in their matchup. So he was the one to go up to eight points off of that endeavor. We'll see if he can make it to 10 here tonight or if he'll find himself stalled. Fight. There's the bell and we're underway here. Tress already taking him down with a couple of knees. Tie up, Hyperion throwing him down. Swing and a miss on the clothesline, puts Tressler in the corner. Swing and a miss yet again. Tressler with the axe handle. Oh, it's about the boot there for the hype. Oh, caught that left. Hyperion sends him into the corner. Oh, swing and a miss. Oh, charge and a miss really. Puts Tressler in the corner measuring, but Tressler steps away, misses the chop. Hyperion now with the elbow. Drops the elbow. Backing off. So tie up here. Hyperion with a shot to the ribs. Pulls Tressler away, drops the elbow. Tressler up on his feet here. Tie up, Irish whip. Tressler coming off, but Hyperion holds on. Swing and a miss on the headbutt. Tressler with that left. Caught with the left there, puts him in the corner. Hyperion dumps him to the outside. Tressler up on his feet, tie up here. Ooh, big shot to the throat. Punch his block. Hyperion is thrown down with, by the arm. It's up, swing and a miss at the chair. Double under, oh, Tressler has him up! AC-130 onto the chair! Tie up, Hyperion, sends him crashing into the barricade. Oh, sidewalk slam! Hyperion rolling back in, Tressler in after him. Tie up, a couple more knees to the face there. Tressler now modified figure four. Just trying to squeeze it, but Hyperion able to break out. To them, tie up. Oh, go, no, Tressler caught him, and there's the Bulldog instead. Well, now just unloading with the left hand, but Hyperion knocks him off. Forearm right across the back, and off the ropes. Quick stomp to the back. To the, oh, now here they go. Oh, there they go, Tressler. Hype, Tressler, Hype. Tressler winning the exchange there. Pulls Hype away from the corner. Now just hammering away with the right hands here. It's knocked aside. Two them tie up. Tressler. Well, might have been thinking high percentage of death by Perrin one step ahead of him, but he gets met with a boot for his efforts. Two of them tie up. Tressler, however, this time has him up! High percentage of death! One! Two! And I'm just able to get the shoulder up in time! This is the headbutt. Sends him into the ropes and sends Tressler for a ride. Pulls Tressler away. As him up. Oh, I'm loading with the forearms there. Drops the elbow. And again. Tressler to his feet. Hyperion with the elbow. Brings Tressler up. Rear waist like a caught with the elbow. Tressler. Rear waist like a caught with a series of elbows. Hyperion and up the ropes. Now there's a stomp right to the shoulder. Tie up. Open. Oh, Tressler with that hangman's neck breaker. Quick stomp. Hyperion up. Oh, rock him with the headbutt there. Brings Tressler back up onto his feet. Tressler with the elbow. You go to the back of the head. Now Hyperion up. Series of knees there. Pulls Tressler away. Oh, deadlift! Vertical suplex there, but Tressler up to his feet. And oh my god! And, and, <laughs> turn him inside out with that! There's the Lariat! Can't believe he used the first principle against him. To then tie up, Hyperion, oh, brings him back up for a second, back up, third power bomb, powering him down. And Tr Tressler tried for the high percentage again, 
but got sent to the outside instead. And Tressler now rolling back inside here. Tie up. Has him hangman's neck breaker. Ooh. Double knees right to the chest. As Hyperion back up. What's the headbutt? And now Hyperion bringing him back up. Not done. A second power bomb. Back up. A third power bomb again. Tie up here. Tressler sends him into the corner. Now unloading with the shoulder thrust there. Tressler going up top. Connects with the leg drop. Now both them back up on their feet. Tie up. Shot right to the throat. Tressler going back up top. Connects with the leg drop. Not done. But before he. No! Oh, connects with the splash that time. Too close to the ropes. Tie up. Perion. Fires him into the corner. Takes the run up and crushes him. Oh, fires him across the way into the corner. Doesn't go for the splash this time. Pushes him back. Now just unloading with the forearms right to the back of the head. Hyperion up top, connects the splash. Not done, back up top. Another splash. Hyperion has him up. Well, Tressler throws him to the outside. Going after him here, getting a quick breather in. Two of them tie up. Hyperion says Tressler crashing into the barricade. Tressler, hangman's neck breaker yet again. As Hyperion up, big knife hits chop, lays him out. Tie up. Hyperion with the headbutt. Playing to the crowd. Rolls back inside. Tressler up to his feet. He rolls back in. Tie up. Tressler again with the hangman's neck breaker. As Hyperion up. Oh, but Hyperion has him up. Into the slam cover. One, two, three. Got him. Here is your winner by pinfall. Hi. Hyperion! And Hype get himself a very big win here as he pushes himself up to 10 points with that one. Now really extending his lead at the top here for now at least. Man, I honestly thought Tressler might have been getting ready to put the finishing touches on him, but Hype able to pull through. I think those power bombs evidently paid their dividend. That able to walk away with a victory and two points to his name. All right, that folks, let's go ahead, jump right on into the next one. And uh, as per usual, you can hear the crowd chant for him here. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Interesting first, from Detroit, Michigan, weighing in at 238 pounds, he is the XHF Hardcore Champion, Steve Awesome! And Awesome coming off another successful defense of the Hardcore Championship. It's a very tense endeavor that he had against the likes of Primal. But Awesome, able to pull through. And his opponent from Barnsley, Yorkshire, England, weighing at 320 pounds, Richard Energy! And Big Dick also coming off a victory uh, last week. So he managed to come out on top against Ricky Tressler, albeit barely. But still a much needed victory in order to keep himself going here. We'll see if he's able to keep on climbing the ladder here tonight. Fight. There's the bell and we're underway here between these two. Awesome, sending energy into the ropes. Oh, caught him there. Flying kick. Tie up, energy sends Awesome into the ropes. Oh. But Awesome instead just bowled him over. Slap right across the face and Awesome. Handstand double leg drop. As per usual by him. Gets clubbed with that forearm. Two of them tie up. Offers the handshake and Awesome with that kick right to the gut. Falls up the Mahi's throw, but energy. Can't. <laughs> Big kick don't go down that easy. Takes him up with that belly to belly suplex. Two of them tie up. Awesome sends him into the ropes. Coming off. Oh, went for the basic drop kick, but energy not having it. Is sent into the corner that time. Oh, punches block. Tie up here. Big slap across the face. And now awesome. High angle clover leaf, but energy easily breaking out of it. Tie up. Warm right across the back. There's a knee drop. Oh, call the kick. 
And now Awesome sending him to the ropes, waiting. Whoop, ducked it, but Energy catches him with the elbows. And now slams the knees into the mat there. The two of them tie up. Irish Whip, Awesome coming off as well. And the two just end up colliding, really. Offers the handshake, but Awesome again to sucker to. Now just trampling over him. To them now, tie up, Irish whip. Oh, but Awesome able to hold on. Oh, big slap to the chest. Awesome puts him in the corner, tie up, holds him down to energy with that neck scissors. Awesome twisting around, pushes up. Now to break out of it. Now, tie up here. Now, here they go. Energy, awesome. Energy, awesome. Energy. Awesome one in the exchange there. Up to his feet. Pulls energy away. Energy up. Catches Awesome with that left. Just with the boot. Tie it. Big slap to the chest. And again. Oops. We're going to miss there. Now Awesome with a couple of knees. Turns him over. Oh, double like Nelson here. One. Energy easily kicking out. Two of them now. High a pump handle, and the power bomb shoulders down one. Awesome able to quickly kick out. And now, as energy up, fireman's carry neck breaker. Balls it up with the double leg drop. Energy up to his feet, tie up, pump handle, into the gut buster that time, my god. And falls it up with the neck breaker. And energy now spinning toehold here. Round and round, he goes with it, but Awesome kicks him off. Tie up. There's the elbow. Pulling him away. Has him up. Tie up here, energy with the forearm. Now, pulling him away. Oh. Back up. Missed the shoulder charge. Awesome, sends him into the corner. Missed the boot. Irish whip, Awesome coming off, but for the DDT. Sends energy in the ropes again, waiting, caught him with the back elbow. In off the ropes, drops the elbow. Two of them tie up, Osmo awesome, reverses the Irish whip, he comes off, basement drop kick. In off the ropes, again dropping the elbow that time. Two of them tie up, energy fires him into the corner. And energy now, putting him up top, he's got planned here. As a boo spider German suplex take the leap the big ending one two awesome how to get the shoulder up and awesome with the running arm breaker there now pulling energy away as him up caught him with that left but energy still standing and now has him up plants him with the jackhammer cover one two. And awesome just able to get the shoulder up in time. Oh, and he caught him with the super kick in for the cover. One, two. Energy gets the shoulder up. Tie up. Energy coming off as well. Went for the DDT. Pump handle. Power bomb. Shoulders down. One, two. Awesome able to kick out. Has a oh, big slap across the face. Awesome to the top. Connects the elbow. And now, pulls energy away. Drops out for the cover, one, two. Then energy over to kick out in time. Sends Awesome into the ropes. Oh, it's pulled over. Awesome, back up top. Connects the elbow. In for the cover again, one, two, three, got him! Here is your winner by pinfall, the XHF Hardcore Champion, Steve Awesome! Took a couple of high-risk moves there, but Awesome able to make it work for himself there with that one. He picks up the victory over Big Dick there. Gets himself another two points in the bank and much-needed boost as well. See if he's able to keep the momentum going for himself. All right, folks, with that, it's now time for our main event of the evening. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right on into it. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, 
From Hokkaido Prefecture, Hokkaido, Japan, weighing at 207 pounds, Dylan Black! With Damon and Mayhem trying to get himself up in the rankings here, especially off of that draw that he had with Wellington Dunn. I think he'll be looking to match him and try to get two points in the bank tonight for himself. And his opponent from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing at 203 pounds, he is the XHF Junior Heavyweight Champion, El Ray! El Ray coming off another loss last week as he fell short against Hyperion, stalled him at six points there. Definitely be looking to bump himself up to eight so he can keep himself in close contention with Hyperion, but of course he has to get through Dylan Black here, who is no slouch in the ring, especially when you look at his previous ac accolades he's racked up over the years. He's definitely one hell of a talent to be taken on. As Black looking to take early control here, tie up, but Ray taking down with those Nevos, follows up the double stomp. Men now tie up. Ray taking out the DDT. Pulls Black away. Black up to his feet. Gets him that knife that's chop. Tie up. Series of elbows there. That is Ray up. Tie up. There's the knee lift. Now pulling Black away. Stomp on the back. Oh, oh caught him with that flying knee there. Dear Lord. Pulls him away, Dylan up to his feet here, gets taken on with the arm drag. Has him up. Knife it's chop. And now Dylan, a series of knee lifts. Mounts now just grinding the elbow along the side of Ray's face there, knocks him aside. Tie up. DDT. Ray up to his feet. Has Dylan up. Tie up here, sends him in the ropes. Ray coming off. Round and round. Tilt world DDT! And Ray now pulls Black away, double thumb to the chest. Dylan up to his feet here. Oh, misses the kick. Two of them circling around, tie up. Dylan with the elbow. He's again going right back to the elbow here. He's grinding it, but Ray able to escape. It's Ray in the corner, measuring Ray, steps away. All right, here they go. Black, Ray, Black, Ray, Black, Ray winning the exchange. Back up on his feet. Oh, going up as well. Just throws him into the corner there, measuring, but Ray steps away. Whiffs on that Enzigiri attempt. Tie up. Shot right to the ribs. Has him up. He sends him into the corner. Tie up. And now Dylan just stomping away on him and just raking the boot across the face as well. Keeping him in the corner. Ray up on his feet here. Tie up. There's the DDT. Black back up as is Ray. Drops him with the DDT. Pulls him away from the ropes. As Black up again, missing with the Enzigiri. Tie up. Sends him to the ropes. Rear waist lock. In off the ropes. Oops, the two of them just end up colliding. Dylan over with that body blow. Quick stomp. Drops down for the cover. One. Ray getting the shoulder up fairly easily. Pulls Black away. Has him up, swing and a miss. Snap suplex there by Ray. Pulls him away. Oh, landed it. Oh, drunk kick right to the back of the head. Now backing off. Taya, Black sends him the ropes, comes up. Fly clothesline takes down Ray. Has him up. Scoops him up. There's the slam. Now the two of them tie up, sends Ray to the ropes again. Oh, he collided with Carnegie! Referee down! Black sends Ray to the ropes again, caught him with the knee lift. Sits down on top, Camel clutch here. Trying to work the back. Ray able to break out of it. Tie up. And Black now drops him with that elbow. Just grinding the elbow along Ray's face here. Ray able to escape. Caught him with that left. There's the DDT. And Ray now, no. Black up to his feet. Gets sent into the corner. Ray measuring, takes the run up and crushes him with the splash. Down goes Black. Ray with the knee drop. Has him back up through a waist lock here. Caught with the elbow. Black through a waist lock. Caught with the elbow. Avoids the Enzigiri. Pulls 
pushes him away. And Black again going right back to the elbow. Just trying to wear him down. Tie up. Oh, gets dumped to the outside. And Cardigan now at the count. Black up to his feet, rolls back in. Swing and a miss. Bray with the arm drag. Has him up. Got him with the Enzigiri that time. Has him up. Whoa. Check off that horseshoe roundhouse. Bray with the elbow. Brings Black up to his feet here. Black with the headbutt. Has him up. Her waist lock. Ooh. Dropped in that backbreaker for the cover here. One, two. Ray able to get the shoulder up. Now has Black up. Oh, boots him down. Simple shrug of the shoulders. He kind of don't know. And now Ray springing up top here for 50. Oh, no. No one was home. Black looking to take advantage. No one there for the double stomp. Call with the one-two there, but Black has a Royal Massacre! Both men down, Black up to his feet, as is Ray. Ray with the head scissors. Springs up top for 50 connects that time! But too close to the ropes. There's the knee lift. And now, one Black away. Ray just shrugging. Has him up. Oh. To the midsection there. Has Black up. Oh, now here they go. Black, Ray, Black, Ray, Black. Oh, just bashed him with that forearm, but Ray with the super kick! And now, has Black up, but Black sends him in the ropes. He's coming off. Oh! Disaster piece in for the cover. One, two. Ray gets the shoulder up. Two of them circling around. Avoids the kick. Black, however, has him a hug. Royal Massacre! Got the legs, the arms. Dynamic outro. Turns him over. Cover. One, two. Ray kicks out. Black hoists him up. Spikes him with the Brain Buster. Brings him back up. But Ray drops him with the DDT. Now Ray up to his feet, has Black up, sends him into the corner. Tie up here, Irish whip, waiting. Nice arm drag there by Ray. Pulls him away from the ropes, has him up through waist lock. Bridging dragon suplex, one, two. And Black just able to get the shoulder up in time there. And ooh, oh, nice combination there by Ray. Going up top, waiting, leaps with the moonsault taking out Black. Has him up, Black however tosses right to the outside. And now here comes Dylan Black, Tope Conhilo takes him out. Has Ray up, fires him into the barricade. If I was Black, I'd be careful here, because the last time I was out on, the last time he was out on the outside, so that I draw as he takes him out with that super kick. Tie up, neck breaker there by Ray. Rolls back inside. Just getting a breather in. Black, up to his feet. Got a chair in hand here. Oh, had to block. Chair's taking out of the equation now. And Ray with a Spanish fly. Has him up. Ray, and off the ropes here. Round and round. Tilt the world, DDT. Black up to his feet here, send to the ropes. Ray waiting. Whoop, Hurricane Rana got the legs hooked. One, two, three, got him! Here is your winner by pinfall, the XHF Junior Heavyweight Champion, El Ray! And the champ able to get it done. Finally put himself up to eight points, keeping himself right behind Hyperion here on points here. Unlucky for Black there as he really took it to Ray in that one, but fortunately not able to one-up the junior heavyweight champ in this endeavor. Finds his progress stalled at five. All right, with that, folks, let's go ahead and take a look at the rankings now as a result of tonight. So, 
Sitting on 10 points to still lead the pack here in block A. We have Hyperion on 10. Behind him, Steve Awesome and El Rey sitting on 8 together. Behind them on 7 is Wellington Dunn. Sitting on 6 behind them is Richard Energy and Jay Carter. Behind them on 5 is Dylan Black. Behind him on 4 are Ricky Tressler, Sister Valerie. And then still sitting at the bottom by himself is Zeze Taborda, who I think now actually... With the current results, if I'm looking at it, yeah, Taborda is now already in early elimination because the best he can do is eight points if he were to win the remaining three matches. Not enough to catch up to Hyperion, unfortunately. Oh, with that, um, don't really have much in the way of announcements, if I'm being quite honest. Um, fortunately, it overheated as Mer was not able to do the deed after one of hellacious, so that'll be a bizarre encounter against Florida, man, but it's you know, fucking Florida, man, honestly. A lot of weird shit happens. Uh, but yeah. However, there are a couple matches involving some folks from SCCW. will be happening. For example, the SCC SCCW World Championship will be defended at Night of Champions as Vincent Draven is set to defend it against Hunter Storms. Uh, so, it should be an exciting match. And then, uh, on top of that, um, for the XHF Tag Team Championship, we have Storms, who was actually be pulling a double header. So he'll be teaming with Daigo Arakawa to challenge Diz and Grizz. I think that's how you pronounce it. For the XHF Global uh, Tag Team Titles, second time that combination of the Harbingers is vying for it. They failed the first time, but we'll see if they can uh, not have history repeat itself. So we'll see how that one plays out. Yeah. Um, that's per Closure Marks Go. Thank you to those who came out tonight. Thank you to those who tuned into our broadcast on our YouTube channel. We greatly appreciate your guys' support week in, week out. And yeah, once again, my name is Alistair Mayfield. Thank you all so much for tuning in, and I will see you all tomorrow night for the following set of Block B matches. Take care, and good night.